Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. I'm Logan Burgess. This is Cody Bills. We're here on May 18, 2012. Let's hop into the Fire Tip platform. We just saw the market close. Uh, as you can see here, corn traded up eight and a quarter on old crop. New crop corn up six. Soybeans absolutely fell off a cliff today, down 29 and three quarters there for old crop beans. New crop beans finding some support, only down 17 and three quarters. But really, the big story here is this wheat complex right now. We saw Chicago wheat trade up 37 and a quarter. Kansas City wheat was up 31 and a half. You know, the fundamentals have really been supporting this rally here. Yeah, and we we just received a report from Planalytics, and right now their yield estimate seems to have for hard red winter wheat seems to be right about on par with the USDA. However, the big and the highlighted and the bold part of that report was that right. they anticipate that the yield, the their yield forecast, the yield potential for this hard red winter wheat crop is going to be going lower. Why? Well, because of the dryness that we've seen in the last month through Kansas City. It's uh, it's really uh, hurting them during uh, pollination and during the mm -hmm. grain filling period, and uh, and so there's a lot of potential for this uh, this yield that, that just seemed to be off to an explosive and very positive start to now start losing some ground. And I think right. that's the fundamental news. Uh, that that news along with the European Union, right. the, 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 hard, uh, the winter kill scenarios over there, yep. and the dryness over in Russia, those are all the fundamentals that you need to spark a rally like this. Yep. I think the fundamentals, though, were augmented significantly by the, this technical short covering yep. and unwinding of this long bean short wheat spread that we've seen uh, really control the market for a while. Yeah, you know, in today's action, we did see open interest decline for corn, soybeans, and wheat, so it certainly does look like there is some short covering, you know, especially in the wheat complex here. If we hop into fire tip, though, let's take a look at some of these technicals. You know, you and I were talking about this earlier, Cody. Uh, right now, we're looking at a daily candlestick chart for that Kansas City wheat contract. This is for July delivery, and as you can see, here's the candle that we printed today, and as you can see, we really traded through the 100-day moving average, and we actually closed right around $7.00 and right around this trend line that we drew off the highs that we printed uh, from back in uh, you know 2010 into 11 here. So Cody, uh, you know uh, even even numbers are normally going to kind of put a cap on this trade. Is this kind of what we saw here today? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you know it's a Friday and uh, this thing just kept running higher. I think people, uh, you know, people had to take some risk off the table and yeah. try and uh, slim down the positions here and, and avoid losses because who knows what's going to happen next week? Yeah. There are, you know, the story is still unfolding out of Russia and and uh, and you know the dryness may continue and and, and that would obviously be very, very bad. But this is a very risky trade. I think there's right. a lot of short covering uh, going on here. And, and when you get short covering, it, you never really know when it's going to stop because right. it just keeps snowballing uh, until, uh, you know, then of course we snap back and go the other way right. uh, just as quick. So it's a very risky trade, guys. And uh, and just be cautious here if you're in the wheat market, if you're if you're long any positions or short any position, just be cautious here because this is this is really starting to, to ramp up the yeah. volatility and, and that, that can lead to significant Yeah, loss. yeah. Volatility across the grains has really been uh, high here recently in the last yeah. two or three weeks here. Uh, you know, kind of the same situation if we hop into Chicago wheat here. Let's jump back to a, uh, this is also a uh, daily candlestick chart here for July delivery on Chicago wheat. And actually, we passed a pretty big technical milestone today. We actually closed above that red line, which is the 200-day moving average there. Uh, you know, last trade on that contract was around 695 here um, for old crop wheat. So, you know, kind of a big move. We haven't been above that 200-day moving average since back in August. So, uh, so big news there. That kind of opens the door for further gains here, especially if it's supported by the fundamentals here. But as you said earlier, you know, keep your eye on this. A lot of short covering today. We're kind of an interesting trade in the market today. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll see you on Monday. Uh, have a good weekend. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Give us a call at 877-472-4607. I'm great.